in training to become members of a government-sanctioned paramilitary group. The army calls them force multipliers and has used these so-called non-soldiers for years to help protect people in areas where rebels operate. But these trainees are no ordinary civilians. They used to be the enemy. Benjamin Salusad is better known as Ka Nonong, one of the most experienced and feared commanders of the Communist New People's Army, or NPA. He led raids against the military and says he's killed countless people. But Ka Nonong turned himself in in November, and more than 80 of his followers did the same. They're all members of indigenous minority tribes who have felt isolated and discriminated against for years. After being subjected to military abuse in the 90s, they joined the NPA on the promise they would be given recognition and stewardship over ancestral lands. But Ka Nonong says the communist leadership let them down. I didn't see the difference after 18 years. Families still don't have anything. Even my own children have not gone to school. This is the single largest group of communist rebels to ever surrender at one time. Military ground commanders say the surrender has greatly diminished the strength and capabilities of the communist insurgency in the area. Included in their reorientation, lessons in human rights. These former wanted men and women could still face criminal charges, but they're more hopeful about the future now than they have been in a long time, believing the current government is on their side. They're fed, they've been given money, and there's a plan to help them support their families. But they'll also be issued weapons and work part-time with the military. We have to give it a try. And I think the single word, most important word, is trust. And on our side, it should be sincerity. Once the two mix, maybe we can come up with a very good solution to all these problems. So the former enemies are now trying to forge a fragile friendship. Both sides hoping this realignment will give them each what they want. A wave of social reform that could eventually bring an end to the insurgency. Margot Tigas, Al Jazeera, Bukidnon, Southern Philippines.